Little Blood TV back again with another Little Blood TV exclusive. Powered by Talker Media, of course. <laughs> um, this time, this time, this time. <clears throat> excuse me, allergies kind of acting up. Um, I got a um, childhood friend of mine up here. Um, been doing this shit for many moons, many, many moons. Um, y'all might know him for um, little videos around the bay during the hyphy movement. But you for sure, for sure know him from hood to hood. And introducing the son, presenting the others. My nigga, my brother, Ed Lover. What yes, that sir. shit do? What's up, my good brother? How you doing, Kane? Uh, I'm better than some, worse than others, man. Man, Ed Lover. Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. Where you been, bro? How you, what, what's, what's, what's been going on in the world of Ed Lover? Man. Shit. You lighter? Now I got one shit. Where I start from? Shit. I've been around. Mm -hmm. I've been around. Um, I heard you went to prison for, for a short while. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, what was that like? Uh, shit. I've been to the pen a few times, uh -huh. to be honest. Uh, shit. The pen, cool. Right. It ain't cool, but it is cool. Right. You know what I mean? It depends on how you go about it. You know what right. I mean? Some people go to the pen and deal with the pen, the penmanship that come with the pen, and some people stay solid to their grounds, and they hold it down and make it about that motherfucker. Right. Um, I tell people all the time, jail didn't, didn't fuck me up. It helped me. And, For sure. And it helped me in a way um, because I shit I learned in jail, I would have never learned in school. And um, it just taught me values. It just taught me um, different shit on life. And... Uh, do I suggest people to go to the pen? Fuck no. Hell no. Nah. Not at it all. Ain't a, it ain't a good place to go. You know, it ain't by choice either. Right. You know what I mean? We grew up living a certain way and had to um, provide for ourselves a certain way. So it led with those dip, those type of, you know what I mean, complications. You know right. what I mean? So it wasn't nothing that a motherfucker wished for or glorified it. It just came with the game. Right, right, right. Um. Let's talk about hood the hood. That was a look. That was that a was big a old look. look. And it's crazy, bro. Um, I travel a lot, and people always want to know, like, like it's crazy, like, hey, the air lover nigga is he is he really from the town? Like, who is he really like that? Like, hey, I'm not gonna lie, the hood the hood shit. Let me break this down for y'all. This was some real turf politicking type shit. You know what I mean? This wasn't no. Uh, shit that was uh, it was some fluke shit. Uh -huh. I'm just every day in my hood holding it down, doing what I do, popping it. You know what I mean? Way back then, uh -huh. and these niggas pull up in a van, slapping me being on. You know it's, it's funking all type of shit going on. So when they pull up, they just bounce out with a big ass camera, uh -huh. old school news camera. Uh, I take off running in the store. Uh, I'm gone. I'm thinking it's 5-0. I run all the way to the back of the meat county, you know, the store people fuck right, with right, us. Right, right. I'm back there. But they come in the store. Hey, what you running for? Hey, we just, hey, we ain't the police. We just doing this little hood right, documentary. Right. Bop, 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 bop. See, me, I'm so much of a, of a, of a hood in there. I love my hood. I loved it, the shit that came with my hood. Right, right. I loved it being on the corner. I loved it, you know what I mean, the hustle, the grind, the the the, the stunting, the all that. Right. So when that nigga said, we doing a blockumentary on people hoods and what? What? Oh, yeah, let me tell you about my hood. Right, <laughs> right. Now let me wake your game up. Man, what? Went outside, boop. As soon as I step out the door, they already set up. You know what I mean? I'm ready. Tell me when to go. Right, 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 right. And it was history after that. Right, right, history. Right. For that sure. was um, and for people don't know, that's you. You wasn't putting on for no camera. You wasn't. Listen, still to this day. Right, right. People see me, and they, they feel they they see the energy and know that's me from the video. Right. Um. What's your relationship with E40? I know you fuck with Fody Tough. Like Fody, that's big dog. Okay. Fody, that's big dog. Fody was the first nigga besides Hood to Hood that ever 
gave me a, a, a platform to shine, do what I like to do. You right. know what I mean? So it was his from there. Fody came and uh, yeah, Fody came and blessed me with a video. A lot of people might not even heard of this video or seen it way back. This was back in 2003. Right, right, you know what right. I mean? Before a lot of shit was going on. Fody came and snatched me up for the, uh, the fuck was that? Uh, it was him and Eclipse. Quarterbacking. Uh, quarterback. Quarterbacking. Yeah. And I linked up with him through my OG partner, Sweets. Uh, Shout out Sweets. Sweet Jimmy's son. Okay. He from the block. He the one introduced me to Fody. On some, you know what I mean? Fody looking for some some hypey shit way back then. You know what I mean? And Sweets came to me like this, bruh, Fody trying to do this little video, boop, boop, boop. I need you to gather, gather up some of your little hyphy partners, boop, 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 that be dancing, bop, bop, bop. Nigga, I called at least about five, six niggas from every hood in West Oakland that was saucy. Right. That fucked it with me, you know what I mean? And we went and did our little thing and fucked around with Fody. It was a, it was a good look way back then. Y'all yeah, fuck with Fody. It, um, Shout out crazy. Fody. To this day, um, Fody always asks about you or you get what I'm saying? I remember um, a few weeks back, y'all called me on three-way. For sure. I tap in with bro. Everywhere I run into him at, if it's a show, if it's a gathering, you know what I mean? I pull up. He showed me love. He, he know exactly who I am. I know exactly who he is. He never forget, you feel me? I fuck with Fody. Right, I right. fuck with Fody. Um, shout out Earl Stevens, man. Um, definitely is a good dude. I used to think... Um, Fody didn't fuck with um, fuck with the youth, and um, it was just a misunderstanding. That nigga really genuinely loved niggas. He do. He Facetimed me the other night just on some tapping in and checking in type shit. Um, so salute the Earl, man. Salute the Earl mm -hmm. Stevens, man. Um, whatever I ask for, like he's he's there for a nigga, and he definitely stand on his word. Um, so when people see you. You know, they think of the Ed Lover, Hood the Hood, Ed, Ed Lover, the raw energy, the hype shit, but they don't know you a human just like everybody else. Like everybody else, bro. I go through problems, see, but it's the energy I carry. You know what I mean? I was, I've been like this all my life, so I don't carry my problems to where you can see it. You know what I mean? Right. It's, a, it's, it's like, I don't know how to do that. Right. I be so into wanting to be happy all the time or just being cool, you know what I mean? Humble, you know what I mean? And every time I go around somebody or when you come around me, I'm going to give you that energy. So whether you got bad energy or not, I'm going to reverse that shit without you even knowing it. I'm going I'm to I'm bring you to my side of the fence. You feel me? For as long as you're around me, you know what right, I mean? And right. when you gone, you're going to leave with that energy, you know what I mean? And you're going to be, you're going to have a little me up in you for sure. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right, so. How do you, um, how do you deal with stress? Depression. Uh, my daughter, mm. my kids. Say that, say that. I deal with that shit all the time. Like, I go through shit that a lot of people can't even stomach. Like, I've been going through shit all my life. Like, I just look like this. I act like this, but I done been through some shit. You know what I mean? Some shit. And... I'm blessed to say that I came up out of that shit and still able to run around here, you know what I mean, with a smile on my face, take care of business, you know what I mean, responsibilities like I'm supposed to, you know what I mean, so that's a that's a plus on my end, but that shit hard, I ain't gonna lie, it's hard. Definitely. Um, do you think, um, let me say this, how was your upbringing in West Oakland different from everywhere else you lived? If it weren't for West Stokeland, I wouldn't be shit. Mm, say that again. You know what I mean? West Stokeland is the shit, bruh. You know what I mean? I, everywhere I go, I done been about 15 different states doing a whole bunch of lot of shit. And I carry that West to the max. I don't want to be like nobody else. I don't want to be from nowhere else. You know what I mean? West Oakland is embedded in my fucking veins. And everything I learned out that motherfucker is the reason I'm the man today. You know what I mean? The good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. You feel me? And I can Straight still up. go back home and they love me to death. Love me. And I love them back. The West goes stupid. Right. Everything come with it. I don't... And I didn't took people to the town. 
Right. Like I stay in Fresno now. Right, you right, feel right. me? So when I first got to Fresno, I was going back and forth to the town, and I'm bringing people with me. Right. What? Loving it, loving it. They ain't never seen nothing like it. That's the beauty of it. Right. Uh, how was Fresno? You've been living out there for some years. How was how was that um, different from Oakland or different from West Oakland? That's hella different. It's hella different, but. It's it's kind of like the same. It's the same shit, but it's very different. You know what I mean, very different. It's slow at times. You know, in a town, everything fast. Everything on straight go mode. You don't have to think about nothing. Mm -hmm. Fresno, how you waking up thinking? You know what I mean? I don't want to think. I want to wake up knowing exactly what the fuck I'm about to do. I'm about to grab this, you know what I mean? I'm about to grab this. I'm about to go outside and I'm about to get a bag. And I'm about to hang with my guys and we about to do all this fantastic shit right here in our hood. Right, right, right. right. That's, That's what right. I miss. You can't do that out there. You got to go mingle and try to do all this extra shit with other people that you really don't want to do but just to catch a vibe. Right, right, right. But it's cool. Fresno kind of like... Save me, to be honest. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Say that, say that, say that. Fresno kind of saved me. And I didn't move out there by choice. I got out the pen that gave me a four-year stay away from Oakland mm. and sent me to Fresno. Remind you, I ain't never even knew Fresno even existed. I don't know nothing but Oakland. You know what I mean? So when I get, to, I ain't even, I get out, I ain't even go to Fresno. I went to uh, my Auntie Linda funeral. Wasn't never finna miss that. Cause I wasn't even taking the, what? Fresno, I don't even know nobody stay out there. But like, from my understanding, when you get out of jail and you get out the pen, you got a parole where you caught your case at. They sent me way somewhere else somewhere, bro. And when I got out there, it was a good thing. It was something new. You something know what I mean? It was, it was different. I didn't have to, I can walk to the store without having to watch my back. I didn't have right. to worry about the police. I didn't have to worry about all the, uh, the, 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 the extra shit that come with being in a town. But it was hella slow. It wasn't nothing going on. I'm trying to do what I'm used to doing. I'm ready to get back in go mode and it ain't working. So I had to, I had to find a way to convert and it took me a minute. Right. I kept going back to the pen for nothing. Right, right, Just right. going to Oakland. Stay away. Just going to Oakland. Right, 50 right. miles out your radius. Whooping me. But, yeah, Fresno did a lot of good for me, though. For sure, for sure. Kept me out of the bullshit. Question. How do you feel about um, other cities and shit um, still in our culture and not paying homage? I don't like it. For the simple fact. People know, you know what I mean? Like the town is one of the sauciest places on earth. We got some of the sauciest people on earth that came up out of that motherfucker and still around. And I'm one of them, you know what I mean? So when it comes to a motherfucker or other places that uh, come to the town or they or they see what we, go, what we got going and it's going and they don't, and, and they got something from it, and then they go where they going and try to make it seem like you just didn't get this from over here or you didn't learn this from over here. That's bootsy. That's why when you do it, it look bootsy. Right. And when you do it in front of people that know that, you look bootsy in front of them. So you just bootsy all the way around. Keep it 100. Right, right, you know what right. I mean? And that just comes with being yourself. Right, 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 right. Automatically. Just be yourself. You, ain't, you know what I mean? Front shit is punk shit. Right. So um, you was around during the hyphy movement. And um, Quiet as Kept, you know, you was a fixture in that movement. Um, I remember seeing you in videos, people tapping in with you just to have your energy and shit. And uh, even a lot of shit today, motherfuckers give you credit for. Uh, dance moves, um, certain lingo and shit. Um, from now till then, how does that make you feel to still be relevant and to still be talked about 20 years later? It make me feel hella good, but I got so much confidence, it's supposed to be like this. You know mm, what I mean? Say that. It's supposed to be like this. I wasn't 
Bro, I was a little ass kid, bro, 15, 16, but I was the boy right. in the town. When it came to motherfuckers just fucking with it and just having fun and like, I was living grown before I was grown. Right. You know what I mean? So you had Fridays and Saturdays, functions. We going to 2 7, we going to San Ramon, we going to Martinez. The West used to walk. Everybody that fucked with me from the bottoms to the corns, all the way through 18 and show up at my house ready to go. And guess what? I was their big dog. Quiet as kept. That's how that's how I that's how I presented myself. I looked out for them, what nobody finna go without, and they they cherish that. That's why people fuck with me today because I always been solid to myself and to the people that I fuck with. No matter where you was from, whether you was a man, female, you know what I mean? I was young back then. So if you was younger than me, I was making sure I look out for you. Right, right, you about right. to get in this function, I'm about to sneak you through the window. I'm about right. to pay this extra 40 because that's how I was breeded. You know what I mean? Right, right, all my, all, everybody from my hood is different. You know what I mean? Like I, 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 I'm kind of like different from a lot of people. We all the same, but I was breeded a little different coming up in that West. You know what I mean? Right. And I utilized that shit to my fullest extent right. to be who I am today. You know um, what I mean? Let's drop it in low for a minute. Um, full time father. As a black man, what are some of the difficulties you face or the stresses that comes with being a full-time father? That's a good one. It's kind of like, me, I'm a real father, you know what I mean? I cherish my kids, you know what I mean? And if you know me, then you know. You know what I mean? You can you can see it, but I don't do it for show. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I do it because that's what I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? And I didn't have a father figure when I was around. You know what I mean? I was raised by my mom. Mom, single parent, four kids, you know what I mean? And I seen her struggle so hard till it came to a point to where rent couldn't, rent couldn't get paid and we had to just disperse like it wasn't no warning signs it wasn't no 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 none of that it was just one day it, it got hard couldn't pay the rent boom mom and sisters went this way me and my brother went this way and at a young age i had to position myself to be grown super young and I made it happen and it was hard. And I had to be there for my mom and do a lot of stuff that I didn't even really know how to do myself because wasn't nobody teaching me that. I didn't, I didn't have no father figure. When I got old enough to have kids and started having kids, I was still young. I had my first son, I was like 16, you know what I mean? So it was still a game to me, you know what I mean? It wasn't, it wasn't like, uh, that was a fresh little start of a big responsibility. So it was like, okay, you know what I mean? I got my son. I know how to, what, I, what I need to do to raise him. But when I had my daughter, it's a different ball game. Because you know with your boy, that's your little nigga. You know what I mean? You can right. rock with him. You can thug with him. You can do this, bop, y'all can hang. With my daughter, it was kind of different and got, um, it got hard for the simple fact she's a girl. She got all these feminine ways mm -hmm. that I didn't know how to deal with. You know what I mean? And I didn't have no females around to even be able to show me. Like, I didn't, I wasn't, you know what I mean, interacting or calling my sisters and them to be like this. I was trying to do all that shit on my own. You know what I mean? And I had to realize you can't do it on your own. You need some type of help. You know what I mean? So once I got to tapping in with them, it made it a slightly little, you know what I mean, better. You know what I mean? But that shit hard. You just got to, you just got to, you got to want to be a dad. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That shit, you can't just be like, oh, I'm going to take care of my kids because that's just, you know what I mean? That's just what the world say. No, you got to want to do that shit. Right. You know what I mean? Because your kids is going to 
they going to they gonna blame you for it. Either they going to blame you good or they going to blame you bad. Right, right. You don't want to get blamed bad. What's your advice to full-time fathers? Single fathers at that. Stay a full-time father. It's seeing you, not on you. Mm. You know what I mean? You just got to. You know what I mean? Because if you don't do it, who going to do it? Mm. You know what I mean? If you don't do it, who going to do it? You got a choice. Either I'm going to step up to the plate and be a man and take care of my kids like I'm supposed to, or they going to end up like we see all the wrong shit that we talk about, and your kids going to be one of them. You know what I mean? And how the world is today, it seems like it's about to end every day. So you ain't even got to worry about people getting shot and, you know what I mean, like it used to be. All these all these killings from shootings and all this. No, people is just damn near falling out the sky. They got all these viruses and everything going on. You know what right, I mean? Right, so right. it's a lot you got to worry about. And if and for your, for you to not be the proper parent for your kids in this time of day, you know what I mean? You automatically throwing them out there to the woods. You know what I mean? So if you love your kids and you care about your kids, you're a stand-up father. I salute you because I'm one of them too. You know what I mean? Just like you. You know what I mean? We talk about this all the time. And we learn from each other because you ain't never old enough to learn. You know what I mean? I don't know it all. Don't nobody know it all. So... You know what I mean? It's good to have somebody to where you can uh, chop it up with and call and, you know what I mean, talk about certain things just to get a, a different eyes view on how to maneuver through it because it's going to get hard. It's going to get hard. Ain't yes. nothing in life easy at yes. all. I agree. I definitely agree uh, on that. And I salute you because um, I watched the transition you made from a boy to a man. I watched the sacrifices you made, you feel me, to uh, be in the position you're in now. Um, dropping it low again. What type of women you like? <laughs> what type of women they love like, man? Keep it real, man. I like all type of women. Okay, I ain't talk to me. I like to I like fender benders. Uh -huh. I like big babies. Yeah, you know hell, what I mean? big baby. I like little thicker than the sneakers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Little titties, big titties, yeah. little all that. Yeah. <laughs> So, what you more of a natural body man, or are you like the fake body? Natural. Natural? All the way. Mm -hmm. Especially if you ain't got to wear makeup. Right. Oh, yeah. That creams me. Right. <laughs> yeah, when you got to put on makeup, and they got to get on my shirt, that's irritating as fuck, bro. <laughs> that's hella irritating. Like, I don't even want to be on. I got to give you a hug. And <laughs> fuck off my Usulaba. Come on, man. <laughs> nah. I don't like that shit. Okay. Keep it natural. Keep it natural. Um, where do you see yourself at in the next five years? In the next five years? My first son about to be 25. Mm. My daughter be about to be 18. Mm. And my youngest son... He about to be seven to eight. A proud dad. Uh, talk to me. A talk blessed, to proud me. dad, bro. Talk to me. Yes, sir. I done did so much and, and, and then had so much at a young age. I don't even live for me today. Mm -hmm. I live for them. You right, know what I mean? Right, definitely. I ain't the richest. I ain't, you know what I mean? But I know how to survive and mm -hmm. I know how to provide. Right. You know what I mean? And as long as I can do that for as long as I can, as I'm on this earth, that's 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 just good enough for me. Right, right. You know um, I mean? So you're in partnership with Jay Styling. Um, you run the clothing store in Fresno. For sure. How was that experience? It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. You know, I go crazy. Mm -hmm. I fuck with it. That's right up my alley. I'm a salesman. You know what I mean? I'm a people's person. You know what I mean? So, shout out Stalin, for one. Shout out Stalin for the alley-oop, you know what I mean? Placing me in position, you know what I mean? Solid individual, you know what I mean? Look out for me and it's likewise. And that shit cool, you know what I mean? Because I know everybody in Fresno. So it Definitely. just gives me an outlet to 
connect the dots like I'm used to doing from the town to Fresno. You know what I mean? It's it's cool. It's cool. Well, um, I appreciate you pulling up on me, man. You know, it's been a long time coming. Uh, believe it or not, you definitely was one of them niggas in the beginning, too, that was supposed to. I've been supposed to put up, yeah. but you know how my fatherhood is. I be having too much shit going on. Right. Moving 90 going north. Right, 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 right. But I definitely pulled up. Had to make it. Real I sure. appreciate you for having me, for sure. Definitely. You know, it's nothing but love. And, and um, on another note, I just want to salute you. Yes, sir. Giving you your flowers yes, sir. for being a real friend, bro. Thank you, thank you. You yes, know what sir. I mean? Like, I got a lot of friends, but a lot of them still ain't around. Right. You know what I mean? And just the, the, the brotherly love that you showed me and just tapping in and just, you know what I mean? Just, just fuck with me how you fuck with me. You know what I mean? Sometimes a nigga be needing that. You know yes, what I mean? Sir. And vice versa. So I salute you. You know what I mean? Even on your success coming a long way. Yes, you sir. didn't came a long way. Yes, I knew sir. you since. Come on, man. Yes, sir. You, you was you used to be like my little mascot <laughs> for the West. Yeah. Anybody got a problem for the West? Larry coming. He about yeah. to knock you out for sure. <laughs> He's sleeping you. And I used to be looking like this. Oh yeah, that's my partner right there. I know I'ma make sure that that nigga gonna be cool with me for a long time. And I'ma make sure he don't knock me out. Hold on. Yeah, that's gonna be my dog for sure. So well, yeah, hell yeah, bro. Proud of you. You came a long way holding it down, fatherhood. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Thank you, man. Just I keep on pushing. Where, you know can, I mean? um, where can we find you at? How can we reach out to you? You can hit me on the ground, Ed Lover, 25 underscore 26, you know what I mean? Or you can catch me at the Live Watch stuff, man. Pull up. We got a bunch of gear, a bunch of vibe, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Thirsty Thursdays, mm -hmm. Don Julio. Uh, <laughs> Come fuck with me. Everybody invited. What's the address? 1250 Fulton Street, <laughs> okay. Fresno, California, just in case you forgot. If you follow me on the uh, Live Wire clothing page, dot Fresno, man, you're going to see me every day. You know what I mean? I'm around there still doing looks, productions. Yes, you know what sir. I mean? Connecting dots and, you know what I mean? Doing what I do best, man. Hey, right, can we get it one time before we uh, end this? Can we get the Ed Lover production right here real quick? I will see this, man. You got to give it to us one time, P. What I say? Check this out, man. This show number one player, Ed Lover from Mill Street. Street. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? And we out here, we out here solo. But I want to let you niggas know. Yeah, you know I mean, for all you niggas think Mill Street the lost it, nigga. We ain't lost it, nigga. We still out here repping this shit to the death, nigga. Free QJ and J Rock, yeah. nigga. We still out here. You know what I mean? Doing more than the law allows, setting productions, and you know what I mean all that. You can catch me. In a hood near you, yeah. my pull up game strong. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, all that. That part. Love your life, bro. Love you too, bro. Little Blood TV know. over and out. <laughs>